several billionaires on the Forbes list, including Alec Odingote, Abdul Samad Rebio, and Mike Adenuga. Mike Adenuga comes behind Alec Odingote as the second richest man in Nigeria and fifth richest man in Africa. According to the list, he has approximately $7.3 billion to his name. As of this video, he is ranked number 324 worldwide. So how does Adenuga mix his billions? We are about to find out. My name is Ava with the Money Monkey Africa, and this is the story of the fifth wealthiest man in Africa. Please subscribe to our channel, hit on that notification channel. Adenuga's father was a school teacher and his mother a businesswoman. He attended Ibadan Grammar School and Comprehensive High School. He then went on to study business administration at Northwestern Oklahoma State University and Pace University. While studying, Adenuga worked as a taxi driver during his studies to sustain himself. After returning from his studies, he helped his mother run the sawmill business before eventually taking over. An opportunity presented itself when an Austrian lace manufacturer advised him to invest in laces, where he began importing lace materials. The tycoon earned his first million from these businesses from distributing soft drinks and selling lace at age 26. The 69-year-old, born Michael Adenier, Agbolaid Ishola Adenuga, then went to make his fortune from diverse industries, including oil exploration and production, banking, and telecom. He owns Nigeria's native mobile telecom company, Globacom, which is also the third largest operator in the country. Adenuba has built his wealth around oil production and mobile telecom. Let us look at each and every one of them. Oil Production Mike Adenuga owns Corn Oil Producing Company, one of the largest indigenous oil exploration and production companies. It was among the pioneering Nigerian companies licensed to carry out oil exploration activities. Corn Oil was incorporated in early 1994 after he was awarded the drilling license. Corn Oil Producing Company formerly Consolidated Oil Company, operates six oil blocks in the Niger Delta, including OMNGL-103, 136, and OPL-290 and 257. Corn oil producing paid for the oil blocks after acquiring them in competitive bidding rounds held by the state government. The company's primary activities include crude oil exploration, production, and sale. It has accumulated over 400 million barrels of oil reserve, and around 1.8 trillion cubic feet of gas. Its current total potential oil resources records about 820 million barrels. Corn oil producing gross profits soared by 77% to almost 4 billion in 2021 from the previous year's 2 billion. It recorded a revenue rise to 126 billion naira from 117 117 billion in 2020. Oler estimates corn oil's annual revenue to be $307 million. In the first half of 2022, the oil stalwart made over $4 million in profit from $2 million in 2021, according to company reports. Mike Adenuga has controlling shares in the company with a 74% stake through Corn Petra Limited. His earnings per share dividend amounted to $3 million, or 1.3 billion naira, contributing to his massive wealth. Mobile Telecoms the self-made billionaire is also the founder and sole owner of Globacom, a Nigerian indigenous GSM mobile phone network. The telephone network company has over 55 million subscribers from the populated country and neighboring countries like Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, and Benin. The company already has three subsidiaries, Glo Benin, Glo Nigeria, and Glo Ghana. It also heavily invests in entertainment and social interventions in the African space. For example, Globacom Group is the biggest investor of Nollywood, helping the industry extend to the global entertainment scene. In addition, the firm has invested in sports, sponsoring annual events like the Confederation of African Football Awards. As of 2019, the company had over 3,500 employees globally. Globacom recently made a multi-million dollar deal with Saragun Networks to improve its service quality and compete with MTN, which claims the largest market share in Africa's economy. The partnership will help Globacom create the most robust, innovative telecommunication networks while minimizing overall total cost of ownership and increasing the company's revenue. Real Estate Adenuba has vast interest in real estate. Cobblestone Properties, his property company, has hundreds of prime commercial and residential properties in the country. It specializes in real estate, property management, project management, and project design. 
The firm serves real estate professionals, sundry investors, home buyers, and high net worth individuals. As a major player in the real estate market in Nigeria, the company earns hefty revenue from selling plots of land and renting out residential properties. As of this video, the company has 200,000 properties on sale in Nigeria alone. The properties include houses, shops, lands, flats, commercial spaces, and shops for let. The houses for sale cost an average of 60 million naira. One of its latest developments, launched in late 2019, is Sizi Paris, a 10-story luxury apartments developed for visitors accustomed to luxurious lifestyles. Other Businesses and Properties Adenuga ventured into banking business in 1990, incorporating the Equatorial Trust Bank, popularly known as Equatorial Bank, as a completely indigenous bank. In 2006, ATB formed a merger with Devcon Bank to provide consolidation services. By 2011, the bank had expanded with 100 subsidiaries all over Nigeria. The federal government of Nigeria holds a significant portion of the bank. ATB was among the 26 banks licensed by Nigeria's banking regulator, Central Bank of Nigeria, just before Sterling Bank acquired it in a merger. Sterling Bank made a 7.5 billion naira gross profit in 2021 from its overall operations, which makes a 108 rise from 3.6 billion naira in financial year 2021. Finally, the business mogul owns an expansive multi-million estate containing nine duplexes on Lagos Banana Island. The Mike Adenuga Towers in Victoria Island is also under his business outfit. What are we saying in conclusion? The success story of Mike Adenuga is of focus, dedication, and ambition. His business ventures and philanthropic acts have won him several accolades, including African Entrepreneur of the Year 2007, Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger. That is the second highest honor for a non-government official, pillar of football in Africa, etc. Mike Adenuga's investments have had a great impact on the African economy. Do you think the African economy has opportunities for anyone to build from the ground up? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.